Welcome to the grand finale of Vidblock's Young Inventor Tech Fest 2021 organized by IIT Bombay. Let's check out the journey of Nandika Olok from Ludhiana. I'm Nandika Olok. Stop the Spot is a wearable band which uses sensors to continuously record heart rate and temperature of women during their sleep. It then feeds this data into a machine learning algorithm which predicts the week in which the woman will menstruate with an accuracy of 78%. What is so novel about Stop the Spot is that unlike other period tracking mobile apps, it uses real-time physiological changes in the body to predict the entire menstruation cycle. We started our data collection by creating a graphical user interface which we made using Python Kinter. The GUI used Arduino microprocessor sensors to record heart rate and temperature of women in a local hostel before and after the menstruation cycle. We collected 1665 data sets of age, length of cycle, menstruation date, heart rate and temperature using slide 3 inbuilt application in Python. Using the length of the cycle and date of menstruation, we calculated the luteal phase and ovulation period in women using basic math. The level of sex hormones change during different phases of the menstrual cycle. This affects the cardiovascular system and body temperature. We used Pandas, NumPy and Matplot to perform exploratory data analysis to correlate heart rate, BBT and age to understand the mean heart rate and temperature of women during the luteal phase and ovulation phase. We used SVM to predict whether a woman will have an irregular cycle and linear regression to predict her menstruation week. We made the first iteration of our prototype. I tested it on myself every night for three months. For the last two months, it accurately predicted my menstruation week. Thank you. Stop the spot can be extremely useful in various sectors of life. For example, having irregular periods is a symptom of various chronic diseases. In today's hectic, fast-paced life, we do not realize that we are menstruating irregularly. Stop the spot detects such irregularities and can thus be an objective tool to aid doctors in the early diagnosis of endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disorder, polycystic ovary syndrome, uterine cancer, thyroid problems, etc. Moreover, Stop the Spot positively impacts the environment by curbing unnecessary plastic usage. About 12.3 million tons of sanitary pads are dumped in landfills in India annually. What inspired me to choose such a topic was the fact that every year, 23% of girls in rural India are dropping out of their schools because of their inability to manage periods at school. This critically undermines their abilities as individuals and future workers. This is a huge unforeseen factor that instigates the inherent gender equality that is so deeply rooted in a country like ours. At a more personal level, my own mother was diagnosed with endometriosis. It became extremely difficult for her because she did not know when to start wearing sanitary production. She couldn't use period tracking apps because those apps mainly used calendar dates for prediction, but her cycle was irregular because of endometriosis. I feel that it was her struggle that inspired me the most to make such a band. The one major struggle that I faced was during the data collection. While collecting the data, I encountered a few conservative people who were shy to even talk about their menstrual cycle because of the huge taboo that our society has attached to this natural phenomenon. Before making the prototype, I consulted Dr. Tapasya Dhar, the head gynecologist of the Christian Medical College in my city. I asked her about various changes in our body before and during the days when we menstruate. She further helped me understand the four phases of the menstrual cycle. This interaction, coupled with some further research, helped me understand that the basal body temperature, the heart rate and REM sleep levels are impacted the most by sex hormones secreted during various phases of the menstrual cycle. I collected 1,665 data sets by creating a graphical user interface which used Arduino, MAX30102 heart sensor, MLX90614 ESF temperature sensor to collect the age, length of cycle, menstruation days, heart rate and basal body temperature of women in a local hostel before, during and after their menstruation. So you've used my band for the past two months. What can you say about the efficiency of it? Okay, so uh, uh, real life menstrual tracking devices are uh, very, very rare. Very frankly, I haven't heard them about in my practice besides the ovulation uh, tracking kits which patients use. 
uh there are different charting methods uh, like the basal body temperature charting and everything and mobile applications also but not everybody knows how to use them properly right so in patients uh, again they are not helpful in patients who are having uh, irregular cycles because of different reasons now the fact that you have correlated these real time changes in into your algorithms what is happening in the human body makes your device very unique and helpful for the general masses Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Feel that there are any devices in the market that are similar to what I made? Yeah, see, there are a couple of ovulation trackers uh, which are available in the market, and my patients use them on a day-to-day basis uh, themselves. But again, these are uh, ovulation trackers. See, but they can only be used in patients who are menstruating regularly. So, patients who are having irregular cycles will have a problem, you know, uh, using them. They won't know when to use them. Uh, uh what is the correct time to predict their ovulation so what i find very unique uh, very, very novel about your idea is that in a lady who is not having regular cycles like patients who are having polycystic ovarian syndrome or endometriosis or other uterine problems which uh, you know uh, in which the patients uh, do not menstruate regularly so your uh, the band which the idea of the band which you conceived is going to be very helpful uh, to predict ovulation in such women because that is going to predict her menstruation week irrespective of whether she is having regular cycles or not okay thank you so much ma'am in the future i plan to further test my prototype and improve its efficiency by studying the impact of other less significant changes that may occur during the different phases of a woman's cycle for example we get lesser rem sleep during and right before our periods i can measure the length of the rem sleep with or just band because i found out that the blood oxygen saturation is generally lower during the rem sleep than that during the nrem sleep i want to also make it more ergonomical so that i can distribute it in villages and hospitals to help irregular menstruators and adolescents